NearlyDanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! This is mock test nine. Majority of these questions are going to be brand new questions. So questions that have never that have never appeared in a previous test. Okay, so um, like I said, this is mock test nine. I, um, if you were in the previous Kahoot, so the one that happened on Wednesday, I told you that uh, today's test is going to be particularly difficult if you haven't been practicing. And um, if you have been practicing, it's going to be a test of your knowledge. Um, why have I done this? I am preparing for the worst case scenario. I'm trying to prepare you guys for the worst case scenario. Um, just in case any of these questions show up. Um, if you are here for the first time and you're wondering how you can catch up with the rest of the people that have been here or that have been coming, if you go to nearlydanish.com, under YouTube videos, you see there's two sections, one for Infos Ads Poem and one for Melbourne's case Poem. So if you click on any one of these buttons, you will see a playlist of all the sessions we've had since August up until the last session that we had, okay? You can, I highly recommend that if this is your first time, please go ahead and watch these because I do a, a lot of explaining, at least in the beginning sessions. And um, I also give a lot of tips on how to approach the exam and um, yeah, several other things. So you can do that for both tests. All right. I am going to be, well, I'm not going to be doing a lot of explaining of the answers today. Um, anyways, enough talk. Let's go. Next one. All right. We've got Houston, Fazakas, Jagan, Manos, and Lilia. Jagan, it's not on the website already, okay? So please participate here. Okay, so I could see more than half of you got this wrong. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a particularly difficult session, okay? Um, what do I mean by that? Okay, let me see if I can just do a, a quick breakdown. The exam is, is um, you're gonna hear me say test and exam. It's the, I'm using the same, well, different words for the same thing, okay? So the exam is made up of 45 questions, 35 of them are from the learning material, 10 are not, okay? So for the questions that are from the learning material, about 70% of them are repeated, okay? What do I mean by repeated? It means that if you practice with all the previous tests, then you would have seen those questions at least twice, once or twice, okay? And then for the rest of the 30% of questions, they are new. So they are questions from the learning material that you've never seen before. So how do you prepare for this? You get used to all the questions, okay? And I'll show you that via your profile. So for the people that have a profile, um, you've, you've heard me say this before. We'll take Trayan, for instance, okay? So after you participate in this, you're going to get a profile that looks like this, okay? And... Um, your profile, well, this is Tran. Tran is the number one guy. Basically, he's the dude that, you know, is taking over the whole thing. But anyways, you can see it shows you your progress, okay? For the frequently asked questions, there's a whole section, right? There's 199 frequently asked questions. So these are questions that have appeared at least twice 
on all the previous tests. So these are the tests going all the way back to 2009. I've um, basically compiled all of them and put them in these quizzes. There's 199 of them. You must know the answers to every single one of these questions. Every single one of them. You can't skip any one of them. Okay? Then there's questions that have never shown up in the test before. Okay? Let's see if I can find an example. So when you start going through, so as you can see, it's chapter one to chapter six. When you start going through the tests, um, well, the quizzes on the website, you start seeing labels, potential new question, okay? So for the potential new question, there's thousands of them. So there's a pool of about, like over a thousand questions that they could draw some of these new questions from. Get used to those new questions as well. How do you get used to them? by actually practicing on the website. And that's all this is about, okay? And for you to get your, um, this there's a glitch in the matrix here, it's showing 100.36%, 100, ignore that, okay? So for, your, for a quiz to get to 100%, you have to complete this quiz about five times. So the first time you complete it, it will say 20%. And it will keep going up until you completed it five times and it's 100%. And that's, if you do that, that means it's equivalent to reading the book five times. And not only is it better than reading, reading the book, the, the information is actually in your head, okay? And that's why I recommend this, but this is my way. I'm not saying that this is the only way. This is the way I recommend. This is the way that worked for me. This is the way that has worked for several other people that have been through the group. So it's up to you to go through it. I can see a lot of people have been putting in a lot of work and I can see people are getting to the point where they're hitting 100%, at least people in the gold league. So please, you only have 10 days. There's not much time. Let's go. Sorry for the, for the long talk. Next one. All right. Uh, okay, this is um, a frequently asked question. Round of applause. <laughs> Next one. Okay, so yes, so um, this guy is, um, they've never asked about it before. This is from chapter five. Chapter five is the source of many new questions. There's a whole new section that's in chapter six. So that's um, Denmark's attractions. And there's definitely going to be some questions from there. Um, how many people got this wrong? So it's 56. So almost half of you. On to the next one. All right, next one. Okay, sorry, chapter six, that question from chapter six. Thank you for correcting me, Manos. So Manos has been practicing for a very long time and he knows this stuff like the back of his head. All right, <clears throat> round of applause. PJ is the highest climber up 10 places. Excellent. Next one. Right. Let me 
to the moon. Okay, yeah, so this has never been asked before. The one that has been asked before is the long education. So this is three to four years. So there's the short education, long education, and medium term education. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so what do we have here? We have DA at number one, Manos at number two, Lilia three, Jagan four, and Titan five. So these are all names that we know. I think all these people are also in the Gold League. Round of applause to you guys. All right, next one. Let's try to get through this quickly. If you're not doing too well, you know, you've got 10 days, brush up. All right, um, I think this question has shown up before. Round of applause to you guys. All right, so Jyoti, you're... Okay, can someone please post a link to the event in the chat? Jyoti, click on that link and read the description, okay? You didn't read it before you came in. Next one. Let me see if I can find it for you. All right, so there have been nine referendums. Six of them have been yes and three of them have been no. And um, they've all been about the EU. So um, on to the next one. 12 players lost their answer streak of three. Sorry, guys. We still have a lot of questions to go, so on to the next one. This is the most frequently asked question. Okay, so you must know the answer to this question. I hope at least 98% of you get this right. We've seen this a bunch of times if you've been practicing. All right, only three people got this wrong. You know what? You know what? Look, I have to give an explosion for this. This is question number one, most probable question to show up on the test on, um, on Wednesday in a couple of weeks. Well, in 10 days. And um, yeah, explosion. One hundred twenty-nine people got that right, so you guys did really well. Excellent. Next one. Okay, this. Let's see how how many of you do actually do well in this. Yeah. Okay, so this one is confusing. Yeah, you do have you do have a, a right to public help if you fulfill the requirements. Okay, so you, you can't just say, oh, I'm broke, help me, government. No, there are requirements that you need to fulfill, but you do have the right in Denmark. Um, someone asked about this question in um in the group today, and this is under the welfare society. I think this is chapter three. And it states there clearly, okay? So for the 47 people that got this wrong, please, if this shows up in the test, get it right. On to the next one. Okay, so Xmas has the highest answer streak of 10. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And Xmas is on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. All right, next one. All 
All right. So 15% is um, immigrants and their descendants. 15% of the Danish population. All right. So 40 people got this wrong. So look, someone mentioned that they're scared. Okay. It's normal to feel scared. Um, but don't let that stop you. Okay. So practice scared if you have to. So the way to actually overcome um, your fear is to become confident. And how do you become confident? By practicing, by knowing the answers to these questions, okay? Some of you are brand new here, and I hope, I don't know if you've been practicing or not, but if you haven't been practicing, listen to what I'm saying to you today, and you will have a profile on the website. Go in there and practice. It's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? It's not, a, it's not a walk in the park. It's not something you can do in two hours. You're going, to, you're going to have to put in the work and you will get out what you put in. So if you put in a little, you're going to get out a little. If you put in a lot, you get out a lot. So it's all up to you. It's all in your hands. Okay? On to the next one. All right. So Jagan is moving up to number four. At the moment, we have DA, Lilia, Manos, Jagan, and Houston. Four players just hit an answer streak of 10. Great job. Next one. All right, so Amelia DeForest sang Only Teardrops 2013 and won the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, let's see, how many people got this wrong? 40 people again. Hopefully it's not the same 40. Lilia, back at number one. MMRR is the highest climber up 13 places. Excellent. We've got uh, 33 questions to go, so we're not even halfway there. Completely brand new question. Okay, um, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting messages saying that my screen is blurry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then I'll start sharing it again. Okay. So give me one second. I think my internet connection sucks. So I'm going to stop and start again. All right. I will start again. Uh, screen. Okay. All right. Um, can you guys see my screen? Come on. All right, okay, great, great, great. Okay, so we're gonna start again. Um, this question has never been asked before. It is the right to call an election. And uh, it's the prime minister or whoever the sitting prime minister is at the time that has that right to call an election um, anytime within the four years. And um, the last election was actually called before the four-year deadline. And it took place on November the 1st or the 2nd, can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, that's what this is. Um, how many people got this wrong? 51. Like I said, if you're not doing well, um, you know, you still have time, but you're going to have to put in a lot of work. Okay. Okay. We have a static top five. Static top five. Sag is making a comeback with three in a row and he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one.
All right, so this is something that you guys seen before. So that's why the answer percentage, well, the number of people that got this right is higher. Well done to you guys. So the 21 people that didn't do so well, now you know what you don't know. Fix that knowledge gap. Now you know what you don't know. For the people that are here for the new, um, for the first time, for the new people that are here for the first time, um, you're going to get a profile and your profile is actually going to have all the sessions that you've missed, all the questions that you got wrong in this session as well, and all the chapters in the book, basically all the quizzes, okay? So everything that you need is on your profile. So I'll show you, actually, I'll show you how to get to your profile. So if you're here for the first time, okay, and um, your profile is going to be ready within half an hour to an hour, Go to nearlydanish.com, go to the section that says Kahoot, click on players, okay? And then when you're in here, it says, uh, it's saying crunching the numbers, it says find your name below and click on it to see your progress. You're not going to be in the gold league. You're going to be in something called the rookie league. So right at the bottom. But the quickest way to find your name is to just search, okay? So you can see I just searched my name, found it. Click on your name and your profile will pop up with everything. Okay, so it's going to load your, these are all the Kahoot sessions I missed. Um, this is the work I've done so far. As, as you can see, I haven't done any work here. And um, these are my stats. So once you get to this, um, work through your incorrect answers. They're going to show up at the top. Work through all your missed Kahoot sessions and then start working through these questions. And as you keep working, your stats will keep improving up until this progress bar hits 100%. That's the goal, okay? Your goal is to get this progress bar to hit 100%. All right, let's get back. Next one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do any work. This question has been seen before, but it's asked in a slightly different way this time. All right. Um, majority of you guys got this right. Okay, so OK is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. We have 30 questions to go. You've seen this before. Even, you're asking about how to connect. Are you participating in the Kahoot? I remember speaking to you in the group. All right, so. I just showed you how to find your name after the Kahoot. So just do that, okay? Only four people got this wrong. Excellent. Round of applause. And we have a static top five. Static top five. What is the highest climber up six places? Great job. Next one. Uh-oh. Let's see how you guys do. This one is tricky. <laughs> All right, so the 15th of June, 1920, after World War One. So this is the reunion of uh, Denmark with Sune Uland. Next one. All right, what do we have here? Lilia, DA, Jagan, Houston, and Manos. HMD is back in the game with three in a row. Oh my, he's on fire!
Yes, it was called Louise Dane, and it was made up of uh, Polkating and Lang's thing. All right, on to the next one. Static top five. Zilan is the highest climber up 12 places. Excellent. Next one. We've seen this for Denmark before. This is for Greenland. Right, 3,694 meters. All right, next one. All right, no one is budging in this top five. Static top five. We are at question number 20 now. Hopefully you all know the answer to this. <laughs> well, Houston, majority of people knew the answer to this, so sorry about that. Um, so only 34 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. It will show up on your profile. Plug that knowledge gap. 10 days to the test, okay? Who fell out? Jagan, was that you? Oh, man. Sorry, man. <laughs> All right, so Grace is back with an answer streak of three and... She's on fire. Excellent. We've got 25 questions to go. Uh-oh. So parliamentarism was created as a concept in 1901, but finally written into Kunlun in 1953. This was also the year that Kunlun was changed to um, allow females to inherit the throne. Um, 45 people got this wrong. Static top five still. Valentin is making a comeback with three in a row, and he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. We are at the halfway point now. This one is tricky. Uh-oh. If you haven't been practicing. And this is brand new question from the new section in the book. So this is about tourism in Denmark. Okay, so 55 people got this wrong. So 62.7 million. So there's a lot of tourists coming here and they mainly come to the coastline. So I think it's West Uland. All right, on to the next one. Static top five. Static top five. Okay, so someone is asking in which chapter. So there was a there's a whole new section in chapter six about tourist attractions in Denmark. There's definitely going to be at least one or two questions from that new section. So please pay very close attention to what's going on there. There are quizzes covering all that information, okay? You can find them under chapter six. We're moving on to the next one. Yes, there, is, there are quizzes, like I said. Okay, 
2015, the alternative was voted into parliament for the first time. 35 people got this wrong. Okay, so yeah, the chapter six is called Tima Upsley. I think I need to change that picture so it's clearer. I'll change it, okay? All right, four players just hit an answer streak of 15. Excellent. We have Lilia D.A. Manos. Tra oh, Tran is here. Okay. Tran and Lee. Next one. All right, round of applause. Great job. All right, so for the people that have been practicing, you've heard me say what I'm about to say many times. For the people that are here for the first time, this is obviously gonna be your first time hearing me say this. When you're in the test, okay, Read the question slowly. Read the question slowly. Make sure you understand what the question is asking you. Then read the answers slowly. Make sure you understand what each answer is saying, and then go ahead and choose the right answer, okay? Also, please, as much as you can, don't make the mistake of finishing the test Right, So you put in all your answers, then you sit there, and then you get paranoid, and then you go back, and then you go and change an answer again. Try and get it right the first time. Why am I saying this? Because I've actually come across many people that finished the test, and the answers that they gave the first time were the right ones. And then they panicked and changed one of the answers and failed the test. And then they end up writing me on Facebook. <laughs> You know, so please don't be that guy or that girl. All right. Next one. Oh, okay. There's someone in here. Valentin did that the last time. All right. So we have Lilia, Trey, and Manos, Lee, and Darby. 11 players reached an answer streak of three. Excellent. Yeah. If your cahoots stop working, just come back in again. Okay. Next one. One second. All right, round of applause. <laughs> Static top five. Static top five. Ferris is back in the game. Oh my, he's on fire! 20 questions to go. You've seen this before, this is a frequently asked question. Excellent. Static top five. Sally back with an answer streak of three. Great job. Next one. This should be a no brainer. Right, so there is no minimum wage in Denmark. It is decided by collective bargaining. 
All right, for the 32 people got, that got this wrong now, you know what you don't know, fix that knowledge gap. We still have a static top five. Zillan is making a comeback with another streak of three in a row. Great job. Next one. You've seen this before, this is FAQ. Yeah, so there are elections in the countries and um, it's the citizens that vote the representatives into U the European Parliament. Majority of you got this right. Um, those two people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Now you know what you don't know. Manos is back in the top five now at number two. Mario is back in the game with three in a row. Next one. FAQ as well. So there's about 10 FAQs here and the rest of them are, the rest of the 25 questions are new. So um, this is a quote unquote difficult test. All right, round of applause. <laughs> Question number 30, we're almost at the end of the history section. All right, so the majority of you actually knew the answer to this. Not much is going on in the top five, 15 questions to go. This is from chapter five. Literature. Oh, wow. Wow! Thought a lot of people are not going to get this right. Great job. Great job. 21 people got it wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Static top five, Suad back in the game, three in a row. Excellent. Next one. Yeah, you've seen this before. Oh, wow, almost perfect score. Only four people got this wrong. Next one. Lama Zigogo Lama Z is back with an answer streak of three. Oh my, he's on fire! We got three questions left in the history section. In the 90s. Okay, so Lila Belt was built in the 70s, Stowe Belt built in the 90s, and um, Ursun was built in the 2000s. Can't remember exact dates, but yeah. FAQs. Wow, you guys are not budging in this top five at all. Static top five. Three players lost the answer streak of five. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Yeah, um, almost half of you got this wrong. 70 people got this right. That's a lot still. Excellent. Um, yeah, so this is also literature, chapter five. A lot of new questions come from there, so please pay close attention to that as well. Okay, so we're going to the last question from the history section. At the moment, we have Lilia, Manos, Trayan, Lee, and Darby. Every single one of these names are in the Gold League on nearly Danish to come. RJ is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. Um, for the people that are new here, I'll explain again. At the end of this session, there's going to be another session for Melbourne's Kids Porn. That takes about 20 to 30 minutes. After that, the, the, um, the results will be imported. And then you can go to the leaderboard and find your name, okay? How do you do that? Go to nearlydanish.com, click on players under Kahoot, and this will load up. Search for your name here and click on your profile and start your work, okay? All right, let's go. Last history question. Oh, Lee, yeah, Liga. Oh, sorry. Are you, wait, are you in Silver League? Yes, so Sylvia, um, you can't, you can, but there's a lot, and we're not going to go through each person's, uh... actually, that's a good question. I'll show you how you can do that. So if you want to see how many you got wrong, okay, I don't think I've ever shown this before. You see this players here, the sessions. So you click on sessions, right? And you'll see the session. When you click on that, I think mo most people have actually answered here. But when you click on that, it will show you the results from that specific session. I don't think I've optimized this, so let's see if this actually loads up. But anyways, you can you can find that information, okay? And it will show you um, the names of the people that participated, la di da di da So you can get that information. All right, next one. Okay, so we are at the end of the history section. We're moving into current affairs and Danish values, okay? So the test is made up of 45 questions. First 35 are from the learning material. So they're questions from the past. The next five questions are current affairs. So questions from, well, the present-ish, from the last six months, okay? And then the last five questions are the so-called Danish values questions. We're moving into the current affairs questions. I will be discussing the themes, okay? So uh, the current affairs questions usually go according to certain themes. I will be discussing those themes as we go through them. All right. Even you keep asking the wrong question. It's, it's not in the Kahoot app, bro. It's on the website. Are you paying attention to what I'm saying, bro? All right, so the theme of this is the government. In this case, they're asking about a specific minister. The likelihood of this woman showing up is very low. Usually it's the finance minister, justice minister, who's the prime minister, stuff like that. Okay, I put this in here to see who's actually been going through those quizzes. Under the current affairs section on your profile, there is a whole quiz dedicated to the government. All right, moving on to the next one. We still have a static top five. Inmar is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. Next one. Yes, so the theme of this is political parties and their leaders. In this case, it's the first speaker of the parliament. And um, his name is Son Gell. There is also a quiz covering this whole section. Okay, so please, if you got this wrong, that quiz is on your profile. Next one, static top five still. All 
All right. So the theme of this is official visits of um, the head of state, uh, the prime minister, or what do they call them? Uh, I've forgotten the exact word that they call. There's a specific word. But anyways, the crown prince is, is he's a representative of, of Denmark. And he went on an official visit to Niger, but this was actually just before the coup happened in that country. This is probably not going to show up, but it fits the theme, so it's here. On to the next one. Um, five players lost their answer streak of three. Sorry, guys. All right, so Tran is up a notch. Lilia is holding that number one spot. It's the same people in the top five. Not much is going on. Next one. Okay, so this is a soft spot for most of you guys. Um, yeah, so the theme of this is famous dead people. Okay, he was a famous author, died in June at the age of 76. This is also in, um, so under the current affairs, you'll see a whole bunch of quizzes. All the questions in those quizzes cover these themes. Now I have to put out a disclaimer, okay? I have done my best to look through most of the news headlines to get that information, okay? But I might I might have missed some things. So you also have a responsibility to do some looking so that in case I missed some things, you caught them and you won't be caught lacking on the day of the test. All right, next one. All right, static top five. Let's move on to the last current affairs. Yes, so vase, it's not in there. I'll put it in there, okay? Yeah, so uh, radio 24-7. Um, is losing its broadcast license when it runs out in March 2024. It's a very popular um, Danish radio station, and um, it's culturally relevant, and that's why it's here. Will it, is it going to show up? I don't think so, but it's relevant, so it's in here. All right, so we're moving on to Danish values. Okay, at the moment, we have Lilia, Trade, Manos, Lee, and Davi. It's a static top five. Static top five. Bala is the highest climber up seven places. Excellent. Um, we have five questions to go. Next one. This should be a no brainer. Right, round of applause. Okay, so for these Danish values questions, sometimes the you know the the um uh <laughs> sometimes uh what was I about to say? This guy you threw me off my my thought process. Anyways, sometimes the Danish in the question is a bit you know you have to pay very close attention, and this is the reason why I say. Read the question very slowly. Um, by the way, um, I just wanted to show you something. I have recorded a video where I tell you how to approach the, um, the Danish values questions. You can find it on the channel, okay? And it's actually the, the most popular video, okay? So just go to the channel, click on this button, popular and click on it. It's a Kahoot session. 
but it, it's it's a it's a very detailed Kahoot session. It's with slides, and I do a lot of explaining. Okay, so that's the way you should think. Well, the way I think you should think about the Danish values questions. But anyways, um, moving on to the next one. All right, so KRS, if you're looking for an explanation, I just showed you where to get that explanation. So please watch that video, okay? All right, so Nada is the highest climber up three places. We've got four questions to go. This should be a no brainer. Okay, six people answered yes. Well, the answer is no. Um, make sure you understand the question, okay? It's simply asking, is polygamy allowed in Denmark according to Danish law? The answer is no. Next one. According to Danish law, Valentin. So you notice that the question always starts with, according to Danish law. getting these questions wrong. Okay, um, yeah. So in Denmark, you are required, so it's it's an obligation. So one of these things, click. you must take some kind of education for at least 10 years in this country. You're required by law, okay? So this question is actually about that. All right, on to the next one. Yes, so um, like I said, so Lily just said, maybe they don't understand the, the word for hindra. So that's to stop. And this is what I said, right, in the previous, they, they usually, they throw in Danish words that could trip you up a bit. So pay very close attention. And oh, by the way, um, these, last, these last five questions, if you fail two of them, you fail the whole test. Now, they're not hard questions, okay? It's either yes or a no answer, but sometimes, you know, they could be worded a bit weird. So please read the question slowly. Make sure you understand what's being asked and then go ahead and answer, okay? Yes. All right. Uh, we've got two questions to go and we're done. Next one. Okay, so Denmark is a liberal country, and um, yeah, so people from the LGBTQ community have the right to get married and to adopt kids. All right, next one. Man, this top five has been like this the whole time. Wow. Wow! Sag is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my, he's on fire! All right. Round of applause to all of you that have stayed. And even if you haven't done well today, you know, check your profile, fix it all up. You've got 10 days, okay? Last question. You've seen this before, I repeated it. All right, um, I put this here. This is act an actual question that showed up in the test. I noticed that they have started repeating the questions, okay? 
So make sure you know all the previous, um, you know the answers to all the previous Danish values questions, as well as these new ones that put in here. Of course, like the probability of these ones showing up, you know, the exact question showing up is low, but they follow a certain theme. And I talked about that theme in the videos. So please have a look at that video. Who decides the questions? The government. All right, we've got Manos at number three. Trey at number two, and I think Lilia at number one. Okay. Liga at number four, and Darby at number five. NewlyDanish.com